In this episode, we want to tell you how you can get the look that you want in your pictures using the easy touchscreen controls on Canon's EOS Rebel T7i. I'm sure you've seen pictures where the photographer got everything nice and sharp from foreground to background. And you've probably seen portraits with beautifully blurred backgrounds. How can you go beyond the snapshot look you're used to from smartphones to get these professional looking images? We'll show you how to get those great shots with the Rebel T7i in this episode. First, a few points. Understand that the lens you're using, where it's zoomed to, as well as how close you are to a subject, will affect whether a scene looks totally sharp or if there's a sharp area with a blurred background. This is the case even for pros who set everything manually. If you shoot with a wider angle lens and there's lots of distance between your camera and your subject, more of your scene will be in focus. And likewise, if you zoom your lens to a telephoto setting, or if you move closer to a subject, it's easier to throw backgrounds out of focus. Sometimes this blurry background is desired because it draws attention to your subject. So don't forget the effect of your distance to your subject and the lens you're using. If you're shooting close up from a few feet away or with a telephoto lens, you won't tend to get sharp backgrounds even if you set all the other camera settings manually. Now let's talk about the camera shooting mode. There's a large mode dial on top of the camera. This is the first place to adjust when you want a specific visual look for your pictures. The most important point I can make, the fully automatic green zone setting is only a starting point. The minute you think you want a different look to the background or overall sharpness in a picture, you've got to be willing to switch to a different shooting mode. It's not hard and we'll show you how in this video. You may want to just get a good, sharp picture of something like your house, your car, or a group of people at an event. In other words, you want distinct sharpness from front to back. Let me show you some ways to get it. First, go to your mode dial and switch it from the green auto setting to the landscape setting. Right away, your camera changes to get more front to back sharpness. This can even be great for shooting close-up pictures of small objects like coins, flowers, and so on. Even better, set your mode dial to the special scene setting, SCN, tap the Q icon, and then tap the choose scene icon on your LCD monitor. From the list of different scene types that appear on the left, select group mode. By the way, this is new to the EOS T7i and EOS 77D cameras. It's a fully automatic shooting mode that gives even more sharpness throughout a picture. It uses the same type of camera settings a pro would to get that thorough sharpness. Group mode is intended for group photos, but it works just as well to get you more sharpness for anything from close-ups of a flower to landscape pictures when you're on vacation. Again, if you're really close to a subject or using a telephoto lens, there are limits to what even the group mode can do. But if you come upon a scene and think that overall sharpness is what you want, consider the landscape and especially group mode settings as quick and easy tools to get you there. Intentionally blurring a background is a tool that portrait and even sports photographers have used for years to get a professional look to their pictures. It's one way to really draw attention to your subject and remove distractions from the background. You can go beyond everyday snapshots and get a similar look in your photos. Sometimes, especially if you are a few feet from a subject, all you have to do is just focus on it and shoot. Even in the green auto shooting mode, the lens's features alone will help throw the background out of focus. But sometimes, you may see a scene or subject and want to put sharp focus on only one part of the picture while intentionally blurring the rest. Here are some ways to get that look. For starters, if you can, step closer and zoom your lens in to more of a telephoto setting. Better yet, try switching to a longer telephoto lens and your backgrounds will usually be thrown out of focus. But you can set the camera to do this too. One way, switch to the portrait shooting mode. This setting intentionally tries to blur backgrounds while keeping sharpness only in the areas where you focus. It's a great look for portraits 
but it can be just as good for anything from pictures of small objects to shots of animals at the zoo. Portrait mode works well only if your subjects aren't moving. But if they are, then just switch to sports mode. Now you'll get the same limited sharpness look, but the camera's autofocus is set to continually follow your moving subject. With a longer telephoto lens, you can sometimes get action shots that look like those you see in newspapers and magazines, especially if you put your subjects closer to the camera and fill the frame. There's one final setting I want to talk about, Creative Auto, or CA, shooting mode. This is also a fully automatic exposure setting, but it can give you a lot more sharpness control in your pictures. You'll see several on-screen icons in the CA mode. One lets you control background blur. By default, it's off. That means the camera is using standard lens settings based on how much light is in the scene. But if you tap the Q icon and then the background blur icon, a new menu screen appears. Tap it to move the orange indicator from off toward either the blurred or sharp options. If you go all the way to sharp, for example, you may get even more foreground to background sharpness than with the group mode we talked about earlier. With this single background blur command, you can easily change the range of sharpness front to back in your pictures. The only disadvantage of Creative Auto is that any settings you dial in are reset whenever you turn your camera off. With settings like group mode, portrait mode, or sports mode, the camera keeps the settings intact, even if you turn it off or take the battery out. So remember, even though you may be new to interchangeable lens cameras, you can still control the overall appearance of your pictures. And you don't need to know a lot of technical photographic terminology to do it. Try out these different shooting modes and start to use them to get that look you want. Thanks for joining us.